The old ball and chain, Martin. Are you getting nervous? Tell the truth. No, I'm not nervous. You're not nervous? No. You look nervous. Huh? It's just the way you look. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not nervous. Really? No. No. Yeah. 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 The last remaining bachelor in the duck call shot is fixing to tie the knot. Face is real. It's sunburnt. Nerves. To say that Martin needs some grooming... Huh? ...is an understatement. Yeah. That's why they call us groomsmen. You should be nervous. Hey, we're talking about eternity here. What God has joined again, let, let no man, man separate. Right. Although we're not very well groomed, uh, we do know a thing or two about marriage. The boy's life, OK, is over as he knows it. I tell you, y'all are one fine support system here. He'll thank us for all the advice one day. So have you decided who's going to be your best man? I'd be a pretty good best man. Huh? I thought I was your best man anyway. No, I said you were the best man for planning the bachelor party. When is the bachelor party? Because we're going to send the boy out in a blaze of glory. Boom! Fireball! Hey. You can get the email? Uh-oh. I don't get email. I'll check the email. So I don't even know what an email That's is. That's right. I sent out emails. Gowan, bring cabin stuff. That's it? That's it. Cabin stuff. What is cabin stuff? You know, cabin stuff. You boys don't know nothing about a bachelor party. OK, nobody has said anything about explosives. You got to have explosives at a bachelor party. Cabin stuff. Cabin stuff. Gowan? You did good. Man, this place is awesome. Did y'all see that cannon outside? Look man. at all this stuff. Yep, that's a cannon. Look at all these old guns, man. We got a Civil War pistol here. Hey, Mark. Huh? How many gloves over All right. So I'd be I do declare, sir. What? I challenge you to a duel. Have you lost your mind? Why don't you slap me? I am General Nathan. Beauregard! What? And we will meet on the field of honor, sir, unless you are a coward. <laughs> Say that again, man. Right. Find yourself a pistol. Do it again. Boys, this cabin, hey, it's perfect for a back party, OK? It's got everything you need. Dueling pistols, OK, gloves to slap people with. He's got all the usual suspects here. Rattlesnake, you got the loggerhead, and the, uh, a little, uh, mutant. That's a chupacabra, boys. No, it's not. Hey, guaranteed. OK, no wonder Gowan picked his spot. It looked like a redneck Applebee's in here. Gowan, what's on the menu? Ta-da! What is it? Looks like a printer. It's a bread maker. Gowan, have you ever actually been to a bachelor party? I want to try it out. No, the answer's no. Well, there's old Al. Hey. How's it, bearded ladies? Bang zone. Ready to get this party started? What in the world is that? It's my karaoke machine. I'm talking about that growth on your face right above your top lip. And you're talking about this stash? Is that thing going to be on your face for my wedding? Mm-hmm. Focal point. This is premeditated beard murder. Al didn't arrive just fashionably late. He arrived about 40 years late. I, mean, I don't encourage shaving, except in an emergency situation. And that's that's 911 right there. Uh -oh. And I've never felt better. Mustaches by themselves haven't been cool since about the 70s. I'm against all mustaches. And we all know that that was a troubling period of American history. Magnum P.I., greatest detective of all time. Is that not true, sir? Uh, identity crisis. Identity success. The oil crisis, inflation, discos, the me generation, mustaches. Chuck Norris. Dale Earnhardt. Dale Earnhardt. Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott. Uh -oh. That's a good one. Right. Coincidence? I think not. I mean, the bachelor party was started off good, and now it's taken a turn. You ready to fire up a little Steely D? For the worst. Hey. The first man that uses that teriyaki machine, 
gets Okay. With my dueling pistol. He already slapped me with a glove. Willie, put your phone up. Come on, we're working now, man. Okay, I'm trying to do a little business. Where do you want it? Over here. My mom's always dreamed of having a petting zoo to share with her grandkids. So I'm taking the morning to help her get it all set up. I'm excited. I can tell you're excited. I mean, it's on my bucket list. This is. You got a small bucket, Kay. No, I mean, I dreamed about this since I was a little girl. Unfortunately, today happens to be Martin's bachelor party. So I want to get this over as quickly as possible so I don't miss out on all the fun. But according to Jeff's last update, about the only thing I'm missing is some pumpernickel bread. Ugh. What kind of animals are you putting in there, Miss Kay? Oh, we're going to have every kind. It's going to be great. We're not having every kind, Kay. We're just getting three or four animals, like a goat, <sighs> another goat, and a maybe maybe just goats. I'm thinking about one of those little monkeys. Do what? I might could even make it a little hat. Have you ever tried to pet a monkey? Well, we could put little rubber things on their teeth. All right so they couldn't bite. The Hannibal Lecter monkey is out, so. You know what? We could have a miniature elephant. We're not having an elephant, Kay. Maybe we could order one from, like, Africa or somewhere, or just, just off the internet. Oh, boy. You can pay for it. Kay, we're not building a circus here. You're not the boss of this. Well, technically, this is my place, though. I kind of am, but... But I'm your mother, and you said I could put my animals here. I said you could put a few animals, not but... Noah's Ark. Put a donkey in there, a donkey, a <gasps> couple of pigs. Why are we doing this again? I want the grandkids to have the farm experience. Well, speaking of the kids, we need to go pick them up. Let's go. You know what? You're acting bossy again. <sighs> Okay, you all want to come over here? I'm going to oh, show you the first. Oh, do we? We got all kinds of animals to show you today. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, it stinks in here. You all ready to see something adorable? Oh, we're making memories for life. <gasps> oh, take it easy, pal. Oh, precious. Isn't it cute? Hey, Willie, look at you. Look at him. You're going to be able to see her in a few minutes. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I thought that the smell in this petting zoo was bad. Yeah! But the sound of these animals? Let's just say it wouldn't surprise me if they were making hot dogs in the back. You want to hold them? Newborns. Pray oh. them like a baby. Just like a baby. All right, we'll take those two. We're good. No, we're not finished. Oh, no, we got way more. Come to think of it, that may not be a bad idea to let them see me eating a hot dog, just to send a message. Oh, is that a cow? We're going to bring them out. You ready to pet? Are we? Behave, or this could be you. Can we get this cow, too? Not enough room. No, I want this cow. This has got to go. Oh, Would God. you guys like to see some more animals? <gasps> no, nah, I think we're good. No, we got to have more. Say more, Willie, more. More, Willie, really, more. Pipe down, Weaver. Ready for the donkey, Luke. She actually does tricks. She does tricks, Willie. Does he donkey kick? They do. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about these animals is magical. You know, Jesus rode on a donkey, right? We could do a Christmas play and have that miniature donkey. I, actually, Jesus rode on a bigger one. Oh, we did? Yeah. Well, I'm glad. I just love how cute they are, how soft they feel, and especially how adorable they sound. <laughs> That's his quiet voice. I can tell they're begging me to take them home. Y'all ready, kids? How oh. about some llamas? Let's roll. Yeah, we need a yeah, couple I have more a animals. Mama llama and a baby llama. <gasps> uh oh. Ooh, oh ooh. my goodness! Hey, take it easy, Jumping and rolling and hey there. <laughs> this place is starting to feel less like a petting zoo and more like Jurassic Park. I thought the humans were supposed to be in control, not the other way around. Oh, we got another goat. We got another goat over there. Willie, right. Willie we'll better chase that one down. Uh -oh. Close it, close it, close uh -oh. it. Uh oh. And instead of resurrecting these animals, old Diane's figured out a way to sell them off to my mom. Oh, stay still. Oh, stay still. <laughs> oh, 
clever girl. Hey, Willie, I've got to have one of these. Whatever, let me just get out of here. I got to go to a bachelor party. These actually come as a pair, Willie, I'm afraid. They're a family. OK, I don't know if all this is going to fit in that trailer. They'll fit. We'll make sure they do. Diane, you ain't helping here. You hear that, kids? We get both llamas. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Guys, I think I got this thing. I can't get it to turn on for some reason. Got it short. Look. Check, check. Y'all hearing that? Nope. Perfect. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this a cappella. Let me stop you right there. Look around and tell me what you see. Lures, knives, broken karaoke machine. A big blue marlin. Chupacabra boys. No, sir. Si. It's right there in front of me. All right, chupacabra boys. No! That's the best thing in here. Weapons. Oh, all right. Look, I'm not an expert when it comes to bachelor parties, but I do know when it's time to spice things up. You got all these weapons, some of them I hadn't even ever seen before. Well, let's go blow something up. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, we can always do Steely Dan later. No. No, we're not doing it. A bachelor party should not be about... Check, check. Pumpernickel bread. Chupacabra, boys. It's about celebrating being a man. And the best way to celebrate that is with a gun in your hand. Well, I'd like to shoot that Kentucky flintlock. That's what I'm talking about. I got the ammo over in that shed. He has an ammunition shed? Yeah. What are we doing sitting around here eating bread? Let's go shoot some stuff. Hang on. Choose wisely, and I'll meet you outside. Well, hang on. What? Hang on. I got dough rising over here. Forget well, the dough. the dough rise. You don't like to watch it? Grab the spare gun. Pay ya! Hi, sir. Challenge you to a duel. All right, everybody's got your powder? Yep. Got it? All right, load <laughs> the powder. Boy, this is uh, taking a little bit of time here, boys. If I was on the other side, y'all would all be dead. Hey, everybody that's been in the military knows, hey, you've got to be ready for battle at a moment's notice. Can you imagine somebody charging you while you're having to do this? All right, boys, I'm at full cop. Hold on. Wait. Calm down. He usually goes off half cop. All right. If you wasn't ready with the enemy attack, hey, you couldn't just say, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, hold on now. Everybody ready yet? No. Hey, look, if this was a real battle, Martin would have lost half of his groomsmen. Are you ready? Let me get comfortable. What here. are we doing? All right. All right, hold on. Fire! Hold on. Hey, fire! Wait. No. Lucky for Jace, the opposition ain't much of a threat. Private Dingleberry, you have insulted my whole family's honor. Prepare to die, sir. Ready? That's what I'm talking about. When I hit that flower, did I not look like Charles Bronson? Ah, Charles Bronson? Yeah, exactly. You did not hit the flower. What are you talking you about? You don't look like Charles Bronson. Death Wish? You look like Tito. Tito Bronson. That works for me. Man, when you shoot this thing, it feels like you're shooting a cannon. Oh, my goodness. How they ever hit anything with it, I don't know. Wait a second. Why don't we go shoot the real cannon? Hold now on. we're talking. He don't know nothing about no heavy artillery. I hate to say it, but I think I'm a sigh on this. You didn't come this far to retreat. This country was established on the back of cannons. I'm in. I'm in. America. It's in the national anthem. Bombs bursting in air. Uh-oh. You got me. You got me there. I'm all in for it. 
Plus, we're teaching Martin the greatest attribute in marriage. What, you to Cana? It's easier to get forgiveness than permission. This is Marriage 101. Come on, Martin. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I have wanted to shoot that cannon ever since I saw it. Let's fire that cannon. Now it's turned into a bachelor party, boys. I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? Death. Jeff could blow us all up. Could just be maimed. Oh, precious. Well, Miss Kay, you got a pen full of animals. You ought to be happy. It smells like poo, poo How did you talk Willie into all these animals, Kay? I just wouldn't take no for an answer. I'll try that sometime. All right, Miss Kay, you got your animals. I'm going to my bachelor party. Hey, kids, y'all want to milk the goats? Yeah! I like milk. I want you to milk the goat before you leave. I'm not milking the goat. The kids want you to help milk the goat. Kay, tell Phil to milk the goat. He's probably done that before. Thanks, yeah. Dad. It's all in a technique, Will. Be nice to her, Willie. Uh, technique. Be gentle. OK, you want to help? No, I can't get down and get up. You know, I'm slow. Oh. Oh, look at it. I'm getting the hang of it. Well, I had a pretty good game plan at the beginning of the day. Help Kay with her petting zoo in the morning, then book it over to the bachelor party. Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. That man down. <laughs> Milking an ornery goat was not on the itinerary. Yeah, you're a little off on your technique when they go to kicking him. Thanks, Dad. That really helps. Technique. But it's not all bad. Take it easy, take it easy. I mean, it does feel good knowing that I went out of my way to help make Miss Kay's day. A few more days like this, I'll finally pass up Jeff as the favorite son. River, you said you want some milk? Oh, wow. Technique. Oh, I'm not oh, I'm getting good at it, yeah, Kay. Oh. Kay, close your mouth. I'm leaving. Hey, I'm going to my bachelor party. Good riddance. What do you think? She's loaded down, boys. We're fixing to send that thing up into outer space. You think you're going to hit the barrel with the cannonball? Yeah. I bet you anything that you can't blow up that barrel. Anything? Anything. I will bet you that mustache. Oh, now wait a minute. We will blow up that barrel. That's gonna go crazy here about the mustache. The mustache is staying. Put your stash where you, your mouth is, OK? Uh, whatever. So, uh, are you confident or not? I feel very confident in keeping my stash. That's all I can say. If you're that sure about it. Yeah. I'll, I'll put my mustache up. Yeah, we that's how confident deal. I am. Are we going to blow something up, or are we going to sit here and, you know, <laughs> run well, our mouths? Hey, I just made a bet. All right, Cannoneer's Post. When's the last time you done that? Hey, Cannoneer's Post! That means assume your position. Especially you, Private Dingleberry. Mm -hmm. Hey, my military career didn't end after Vietnam. I've taken part in countless Civil War reenactments. No! Bent thaw. What? What'd he say? Bent thaw. I can't understand what he said. Thaw! Fire Civil War cannons, OK? Look, it's not rocket science. Worm the barrel. Go here. Advance the round. Hey, rocket science? That wasn't invented until later. Ready. One, two, three, fire! Get it, night. So yeah. much for the stash. Booyah! Oh, yeah. Give me some of that. <laughs> that was awesome. What? Now, at the bachelor party, boys. I don't know which is better. Seeing that cannon blow that barrel to smithereens, oh. or never having to stare at Al's mustache again. Bye-bye, stash. Uh-oh. This is under protest. Sorry, you, Al. You got a razor? The only thing that could have made it better was that if the concussion of the blast made Al's mustache go away. But fortunately for Al, there's a safer way to remove facial hair. Smooth as a baby's bottom. Well, does that feel naked without my mustache? Well, I wish I could say you look better, but no. Nah. Oh, I look good either way, so. Well, did I miss the cannon? 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. Crap. You also missed the mustache. Who had a mustache? I don't want to talk about it. All right, what do y'all say? We say a prayer, bless the food, and then eat. All right. That sounds like a wonder to me. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We're grateful for another day. We are thankful for all our friendships and relationships. Father, I ask you to bless Martin and Brittany in their upcoming marriage. Pray that you give their relationship patience and perseverance and forgiveness. We're thankful for Jesus. Through him we pray. Amen. 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 Let's get on them fish. Congratulations, Martin. And congratulations to you, Al. Perfectly good mustache. Stinks. As a Robertson, there are a lot of ways we consider ourselves manly, whether that's providing food on the table, growing facial hair, or shooting guns. But our manliness ain't defined by these actions as much as it's defined by the people in our lives. We don't really grow into manhood until we learn to act as men towards our loved ones, whether that's by taking on endless nagging by our mothers or the endless love of our soon-to-be wife. And despite still being a bachelor, I have all the confidence in the world that Martin will make a great husband. All right, boys, to Martin. He has no idea what's coming. Well, thanks for everything, fellas. What do you say, boys? We're going to kick up a little steely D? No. <laughs> <laughs>